everybody, this is Steven. Today we are going to be uh, working on the rollover buttons. This is probably going to be a quick tutorial because there's a, there's a couple of steps that we need to do and don't want to flood your mind with too much, I guess. <laughs> now, uh, when we were creating the buttons, I uh, spazzed out for a little bit and didn't think it over too much. And we ended up creating one button for the normal state and one button for the rollover state. And that's a mistake. We need to make that all into one button. You'll see. One button's going to have both states. So let me go ahead and drag all this over. Let me just tile it. Alright, so I'm just going to arrange all of these by rollover. So we're just going to uh, put the rollovers together and the normal ones not just so we can see it better. Hmm. Okay, so I can just minimize this. And what we need to do is grab each one of these. Let's start with uh, Forum first. And then come on over to Image, Canvas Size, and then uncheck this bottom one, and change this to double the height. For me, it's 46. Okay. And then grab your move tool and drag and drop the forum rollover button right into here. And then bring it up so it's as far from the top as this one is from the bottom. So that's good. You can go ahead and minimize the rollover state. Go over to members, image, canvas size. 46. Same thing, drag this over, and for me it's shift up once and then up, up, and that lines it up perfectly. So I put that to the side. And then once you're done, you're going to want to uh, save it as we did before. PNG 24, save it, and save it into your buttons folder. And I just have it called uh, button underscore and then the button name. Okay, so I've already done this to save us some time for all of them. So here's the change buttons, and here are the old ones. So let me just delete these. Okay, take all these and drag them into here. And now these are all the newly made buttons with the normal state rollover. Okay, so I can close that up and close this up and we can go back into Dreamweaver. So now we don't really need to mess with the index.php page because the rollover is going to be um, all in CSS. Alright, so to do this we need to make a couple of changes. For every one of these we need to remove the 0, 0 because that means top left or I, maybe it's top center, I don't remember. But we need to change the 0, 0 to bottom center. So we can just highlight this, copy it, and paste. Alright, and since we renamed the uh, new rollover buttons the same as this one right here, button underscore and then the button name, all we have to do is come down, go back, and we need to write UL navigation li dot home and then a comma and then we need to do it for forum and then news and members and if your height is different than uh, if you remember correctly we uh, already specified height in LIA <clears throat> so then in each of these buttons we already have width and then uh, width for all of them and background float left we already have all the information here so then uh, let's just finish this up one more with download so let's throw a comma on there space download so now all we have to do is type this in open up the brackets, close it, and type background, position, 
and the position is top center. So right now, what, it, what we're seeing is the bottom center of that rollover image. Once we roll over it, it's going to go to top center. And uh, once again, I spazzed out and forgot to add colon hover. Copy that and paste that in front of all of these. Alright, so all that means is once we roll over either one of these buttons, it will change the background position of the image to the top center. So before, this is what it looked like. Uh, when you rolled over, it did nothing. And now that we made those changes, we can refresh, roll over it, and we have very nice buttons. Yay! Very cool. Alright, that was just a quick tutorial. I wanted to get that out of the way because I'm not a big fan of rollover buttons. Uh, next time, we are going to be uh, separating all this into separate HTML documents. And I'll explain that a little bit later. It's the whole reason that we made it index.php because it's going to be using very basic PHP to separate this all up into uh, separate documents. You'll see what that means. Uh, anyhow, uh, please leave comments. Let me know how I'm doing. If you have any uh, requests for tutorials, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.